not a good thing, dude. It's poisoning our food supply. Right? It's not. There's a double-edged sword with this, right? When you have companies like Monsanto that are using it to sell their pesticide, it's not a good thing. Right? It has nothing to do with our food supply. We're talking about one of the most evil corporations in the world. They haven't paid a dollar off to any of the Vietnam, Vietnam veterans that were poisoned with Agent Orange. So, there's nothing good about Monsanto. Evil corporation. Hey, I'm not saying that some research is not good, but when it's in the hands of a corporation like Monsanto, it's not good. Clark, All right. any chance you have um, a flash card that'll work in this camera? No, I don't. I'm sorry. Back, hey, 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 what's up, here? Good to see you, my buddy. Good to see you. Yeah. Oh, they do Agent Orange. Dioxin. PCBs. Evil Corporation. So, I heard you had some trouble. Oh, you know. Yeah. We, uh, we, try to, we try to keep busy, you know? Okay, because Jim filled me in about what happened. Oh, well, yeah, I don't want to discuss it because we're on live stream, but hey, I'm glad to see you. Glad to see you're here. This yeah, is the I, there's so many incidents that I can't even necessarily guess which one you're referring to, but we'll talk about everything later, man. Okay. Nice to see you, Clark. Right, Hello out right there. Good day. All right, it's the insects. We'll set you off campus. Prominent. We'll set you off Earth. There we go. Prominent Bay Area activist, Ian Saxon. Good to see everybody here. Got lovely costumes. About a thousand people. We're going to be marching down Market Street. So glad you could join us. Hey, hey, ho, ho, GMOs have got to go. Ho, ho, GMOs have got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho, GMOs have got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho, Monsanto has to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho, Monsanto has got to go. it up a little bit there. We got a little bit of a, a little bit of a traffic jam going on. This is the busiest intersection west of the Mississippi, right here at Power Market. Sorry about that. A little crowded here, but we're going to get really we're here. We're here for you, brother. So it looks like we're going to take over Market Street here. Yeah, hey, we always like that. Take it to the streets of San Francisco. Hey, hey, ho, ho, Monsanto has got to go. So we're making a left here on Market Street. So far, so good. Pretty sure we have a permit for this. Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. By the way, he was taking a picture of the sticker that says Duran GC Parky. And that was from last year. It is from Istanbul. That was the hashtag.
GMO, hell no, GMO, hell no, GMO, hell no, GMO, hell no. Keep going. Great spot. The march is uh, proceeding at a nice slow pace, just the way I like it. No need to rush. Speak not the evil name, hell no! GMO, speak not the evil name, hell no! By the way, when you're watching, if you like to watch an archive of one of my past live streams or watch the one today, I post them all on uh, YouTube. Uh, that's uh, youtube.com slash channels slash Freeman Sullivan. It's always Freeman Sullivan. Just Google me and uh, all these live streams will come up and you'll be able to watch them all if you like. And they are unedited. Anyway, we're marching down Market Street. Crowd of about a thousand. We're taking over the right side of Market Street.
peek on the back of the crowd. Taking my jacket off, folks. Well, now it's Clark. Hey, not too bad. Healthy. You know, a lot of times when I go to and I see you got a the, the U stream. A lot of times when I go and I click, it says contest no longer available. Huh. So I'm either late or something. Well, now they had a little setting. Yeah. That makes it private, so I finally got that fixed. Oh, is that what it yeah. is? Okay. The pain okay. Ass. Because uh, yeah, I've, because I keep going, I keep looking, I want to, and it, particularly, you said you went to Washington. Oh yeah, I got thrown up on that YouTube. I thought that was great. Yeah, I was in, in Neil, Neil Young. And, yeah, I was in D.C., New yeah, York. I'm jealous. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Boston, Philadelphia, Cleveland, Chicago, yeah. Denver, yeah. Richmond, Charlotte. Richmond, Virginia? Yeah. That was all over. What's that like? Ah, it's, it's, it's all right. You know, it's a small city. It's the south. Yeah. But I spent a lot of time in D.C. I think I spent more time there than anywhere else. Oh, I just love going there. Uh, oh. Weather sucks. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I got my... Oh, it's just horrible this year. I got a brother there. Yeah, it snowed and snowed and snowed. Well, they... Yeah, that's weird. They said it was the worst winter they've had in 150 years. Look at So we're getting ready. We're going to make a right here on 3rd Street, folks. Yeah, where's my audience today?
third. We're headed for Mission Street. We passed mission, now we're headed to Howard Street. Crowd of approximately 1,000. Hey, Gentle Bear, thanks for the retweet. Thank you, Al Parsons. Howard Street. 
Uh, this march will end up at Union or UN Plaza at 7th and Market, so if you're in the area, do you drop by. Website geoengineeringwatch.org. My most sincere gratitude to everyone who's had the courage to show up here today and make their voice heard. How many of you know that Monsanto is involved with engineering more than just our food, that our climate is being engineered? The, the gravity of what's happening in our skies cannot be overstated. Why did Monsanto buy Climate Corp? Because those in power that are involved with engineering the climate, not just, of course, Monsanto as a, as a lower level on the ladder, but we have Lockheed Martin, Raytheon, the Department of Defense. Monsanto is involved with helping what's ha the companies that are engineering our climates by engineering seeds that will grow in a modified world. Put the mouth, my closer your mouth, please. Monsanto, again, is, is helping to those in power that are engineering our climate. Raytheon, Lockheed Martin, the Department of Defense, it's called geoengineering. Monsanto's engineering aluminum-resistant seeds to grow in soils that are sterilized from the fallout from these programs. We've done almost 100 tests in Northern California alone at the state-certified lab. We, we have so much heavy metal falling on us, it's 
It's changing soil pHs 10 to 12 times toward alkaline, aluminum, barium, strontium, manganese, all of which named in climate engineering patents. The power structure is trying desperately to hide these programs from the public because once the public starts to connect the dots, once the public starts to realize that their grandparents' Alzheimer's and dementia, their children's autism is connected to these programs, at that point, the population will want answers and they'll want to know who's responsible. Climate Corp comes into this because those who are doing the weather modification also need to control the message. They need to control the information that's put out because what we're looking at now is more scheduled weather than it is weather forecasting. That needs to go further away from that. The gravity... Hey, this guy's hijacking the thing. This is about GMOs. Uh, you know, now I'm sorry. We have a question about GMOs. GMOs can't be separated from climate engineering because if you can't grow anything that doesn't grow in, without an aluminum resistant seed, then you can't get away from GMOs. You can't hide from it. And if we all are genetically modified ourselves, we're seeing horizontal gene mutations in all plant life now because of the particulates from these programs that are being absorbed. They're all bioavailable. So my point is this. GMO and geoengineering are inseparable. They go together completely. That's the point of having Climate Corp purchased by Monsanto because they have to control the message. So the bottom line is I hope we all unite in this cause and that geoengineering and GMOs are one and the same. And if we can't walk out the door and breathe without sucking in a lung full of heavy metal, if our children can't walk out the door and breathe without sucking in a lung full of heavy metal, we have a problem on our hands. And this is occurring right now. I hope everybody educates themselves. If we if we bring this issue to life, what's if the we, website? If we geoengineeringwatch.org is our website. We don't sell anything. We're not politically oriented. If if we bring this issue to light, where the mainstream media can't hide it, and they're trying damn desperately to hide it right now, and we bring this to light to the degree where our military brothers and sisters realize what they're participating in, because they're told they're participating in something for the common good, couldn't be further from the truth. If we bring this to light and we reach critical mass of awareness, I believe enough of those participating in these programs will refuse to participate and we'll bring these programs to their knees. Yeah. We must, must do that. We're back on the road again.
Occupy will never die. We just go out and multiply.
like a like a pale pale blue it's like what the sky is now right? right but even a little more exaggerated the metal gray it's like gunmetal gray and sky blue those are the two colors right we're drifting toward gray with uh and then you go up to the hills you notice some difference but some of that shit is so high and they're saying it'll almost never come down like right? because it's so little that the convective currents keep pushing it back up i'm not the man don't worry no, that's okay. oh but they are strong Good. Good. Anyway, and then then you, you do the tie-dye pattern to look like puppy chemtrails, you know. And then the people who are in the know would recognize it, but they're just not popular. It's not, I'm talking about the people that are here, man, and like this is GMO's cat. It's like 5,000 people at least. If someone had bet me how many people, I'd have been so wrong. So wrong. He went to like a place like Russia, you know. That was the only place you could go to. Well, I know, but I don't know. I don't really agree with him taking our secrets to Russia. But Russia, you know, they, look at Putin. He's trying to take over the fucking world. Yeah. They spy on people too. They're just as bad. No doubt. They might be worse. I guess I wrote his son, so I figured I'd bring it and get some sun on it, you know? That's doing okay. It's perking up now that it got some water. It'll be fine. Yeah. I, I have another one, but it wouldn't fit in here. Yeah. I have like three more. I have two that broke off. But, you know, it's hard to keep them around my cat. She you knows she walks right by cat and, and chomps on my weed, you know? Uh-oh. Yeah, that's what I see. Bad goodies. Yeah, she knows what's good. I always keep her, uh, you know, a catnip plant that she wants to leave. I grow a bunch of edible plants and I grow uh, nasturtiums too. You know, for the, for the bees. Yeah. I, I just dangle the vines out my window. Okay. For the bees need, they, uh, they're hungry. Yeah, I know. That they, they, they need something to eat, you know? People aren't the only ones hungry. The people in the pit, the pigeons and the bees are hungry too. <laughs> so how long did you, did it take you back to get back from New York? I took a train. All oh, right, Tam check? Yeah. All right, on. how much was it? 189 bucks. Really? That's not much for one way? Yeah. That's a good deal. Yeah, I thought so too. Did you get to lie down? Uh, yeah. So you got a sleeper? No, uh, I just, uh, I got uh, two seats to myself. Oh, all right. So it was pretty cool. So you sort of got to lay down. Yeah, the train's a good smooth ride, you know. And you got I, plenty of room. I rode the Indian Pacific all the way from Sydney to Perth in Australia. And you couldn't lie down. So I was just drinking booze to get, to just pass out. So I could sleep sitting up. Because I cannot sleep sitting up. I tried and tried. I can't do it. You gotta get one of those neck pillows. I had one. Didn't work, huh? No. I brought one along. Too funny to mention that. It was uh, it's me. It was uh, like that big round neck pillows. Yeah. No, no GMOs.
way, in case anybody didn't know it, the head of the FDA Food and Drug Administration, Michael Taylor, was a uh, on the board of directors at Monsanto. Tom Bilsack from the U.S. Department of Agriculture was also one of the people involved with Monsanto. So we got these kind of people that are controlling your food supply. Ah, uh -uh, baby. Terry Fry and I talk a lot about chemtrails. Uh -huh. you know, they spray them almost every day. You know what I'm saying? They spray them all over the world. Yeah, I know.
There's no comment. Look, I was listening to a car and talking about how there's something like 50 different ways of, of identifying sugar. <laughs> like 50 different ways. Oh, that's gross. Oh, that's gross. Oh, that's gross. Now we're gonna make it right here on Fifth Street.
Marching down the middle of Market Street here in San Francisco for March Against Monsanto. For those of you just joining us, this is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. You can follow me on Twitter for more info. Or well, I'm on Facebook as Clark Sullivan. So you can check me out on that. Onlookers are with us here. A lot of people that are watching are waving to us. Nice peaceful demonstration. <laughs> Armitted. And we're just meeting up at Taylor and Market Street.
back. Back. We're near the end of this march. We're going to head it up here. Uh, we're at Jones and McAllister on Moffin Market. we got about another half a block to go before the march is over. Then we're going to be having some speakers. So do stick around. And if you're in the area, come down to 7th the Market. Give a shit. Show you care. You know, we're not going to stop Monsanto all by ourselves now. And do us a favor. Call the White House. Monday morning. 9 to 5 p.m. 202-456-1414. That's 202-456-1414. And let President Obama know, no to Monsanto and no to GMOs. That's 202-456-1414. That's the White House number. Anyway, this is part of a a worldwide day of protest against Monsanto in over 650 cities, maybe 700 now. In every major metropolitan area of the United States, I know for sure. And some even not so major.
talking while you do it? Yeah, it's like we have a pretty involved choreography that we walk for a long time and then somebody gets up in the front and then we Oh, pretty much. It's my 425th live stream. Huh? 425 live stream. Oh, really? Tomorrow we're doing a big poetry reading up in North Beach. Like it's like a three hour deal up at um, the, uh, I want to say Emerald Tablet. Is the name of the place. 80 Fresno. So for those of you watching tomorrow, we're going to be live streaming a poetry and jazz event from North Beach. So we're looking forward to that. No politics. Well, there'll be some politics, but more for entertainment. Yeah, right. right. What time is it, is it running? 3 p.m. to 6. Be free 